Nothing beats the smell of brisket in the morning. Today we are preparing a recipe that is going to be the longest cook that I've attempted on my channel. Most people like waking up in the morning to the smell of coffee or even some bacon. I actually like waking up to the smell of brisket. I'm weird, I know, but I'm telling you, nothing beats the smell of brisket in the morning. So in today's video, I'm going to be preparing an all night smoked brisket. Now it's, what time is it? It's nine o'clock right now. And while everyone's winding down, getting ready for bed, sitting, watching TV, Netflixing, or whatever you like to do on Saturday evenings, I'm going to be cooking. And so we are going to start preparing the world's best brisket. And I am so excited because in the morning, it's going to smell so good in my house. I, uh, I, I just can't wait. <laughs> so while you're winding down, sit back and enjoy watching me make this and then definitely get up and make it yourself. So we're going to get started on our brisket. So here we have our amazing piece of brisket meat. Now this is a big one. This is a 13 and a half pound, a little over 13 and a half pound brisket and it is going to be so delicious. All right, so let's talk about brisket a little bit. So the brisket has basically two parts of this. So you over here, you've got your flat and it's just a little bit thinner and it's just called the flat of the brisket. It's gonna be a little bit more leaner and it's going to be a little more tough. So a lot of people like to use like the ends of the flat for like burnt ends or different stuff like that. Um, it's still super delicious, but it's just a different flavor than you're gonna get from this part. Now this part is the tip of the brisket, and this is where you're gonna see more marbling, and this is the part that's going to be like tender and super, super juicy. Um, so whatever piece you like, some people just like this one because it's leaner, some people like the tip. Whatever piece that you like, then definitely go for it. What we're going to do first to get our brisket ready is we are going to trim the fat. Now with trimming the fat, you don't want to cut too much of the fat off because the fat is going to bring you flavor and it's gonna make your brisket nice and juicy. So we're gonna cut some of the fat off and basically what you're gonna be looking for is fat that's not gonna render. And so you're looking, that that's called like the silver skin on your brisket. So you're gonna wanna cut off any of like the silvery looking fat because that is not gonna render and it's just gonna be like a tough, gross piece on your brisket. So I'm just gonna trim off some of the silver skin. And then over here on your fat cap, you have this big, huge, if you can see it, it's just, this is just all fat right here. So we're gonna trim all of that off just because it's gonna look better on, our brisket's gonna look prettier and it's not gonna be Super, super fatty. When all is said and done, you're probably gonna cut off about two pounds of fat from your brisket. Turn that over. Now, if you, with this turned over like this, this side has way more fat as you can see. And so this is where you're gonna trim the bulk of your fat. So there you have it. Our fat is trimmed. As you can see, there's still some fat on there. That is good. You're gonna want that because it's gonna get your meat flavorful and it's gonna be nice and tender. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our binder and we like I like to do that for pretty much anything that I smoke just because it helps your dry rub stick onto your meat. So let's get our binder. Today I'm just gonna use some olive oil because I want the outside of this to get nice and crispy. All right, so here's some olive oil and then I have a dry rub. Now the recipe for my dry rub is gonna be down in my description. Um, it is the best dry rub and it is going to make our meat super, super flavorful. So I'm just going to drizzle first off our meat on the one side, rub all that oil in, and then we're gonna sprinkle it liberally with our dry rub. Now when I say liberally, I mean liberally, like you want a lot of that seasoning all over each portion of that meat. Just gonna make your meat taste more flavorful and it's gonna create a nice crust on the outside of your brisket. So once we got it all on one side and we're just gonna 
rub it in, push it in, massage it in, however you want to do it. Turn that over. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side with the oil. Drizzle it with the oil, rub it in, sprinkle it with that seasoning. All right, there you have it. Our brisket is ready to stick in our smoker. So we're going to add a thermometer to our meat and we're just going to add it to one of the thickest parts of the meat. We had our meat resting, so it's at room temp. We are going to let this cook to about 150 degrees, and then I'm going to wrap it in some foil. So around the 150 degree mark, your meat will stall, and that's normal, it's typical, it will stall at that point, but you just gotta keep doing it low and slow. We're gonna wrap it at 150. Let's get this brisket cooking. All right, good morning, everyone. It is 2.47 in the morning. I have just did my second check on the meat. We are at 142 um, and it hasn't start, started to stall yet. So you're gonna wanna do two things at this point. Um, first thing is I'm going to have a sheet pan ready and I'm just going to have some foil on it because we're gonna stick our, our brisket on here and we're gonna wrap it up when it hits that stall mark. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get some beef broth um, because we're gonna pour some beef broth in this when we get our brisket on and before we wrap it up. Um, and then the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna put either some beef broth or if you have some apple cider, that's also really good, um, in a spray bottle. And I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna spray my brisket just to keep the brisket nice and moist on top and um, not let it dry out. Um, you're gonna wanna start doing this before you wrap it. Don't spray it too much because you don't wanna get all that seasoning that's on the top off. All right, everyone, so it's 5.28 in the morning. I've been chilling on my couch because our meat stalled on me and it's installed a lot sooner than I thought it would. Stalled around 142, 143. Um, so it took it a couple hours to start raising up again. So once you get to that stall, once the temperature starts rising again, that's when you want to wrap it. So I just pulled this off of our smoker and it's looking delicious. Very hot. It's not ready yet. So I know you're gonna be like, well, it's 147, like it should be done, right? Like, or the, right now it's at one, I have it at 150. So a lot of people are gonna be like, well, it's 150, should be done, right? Not yet. So what we're gonna do is I've got it all ready to wrap up, but before I do so, I'm going to just add a little bit of beef stock, add it directly onto that. And then I'm just gonna wrap this tightly. simple as that so we're gonna put this on probably another three hours we'll take it off once it gets to 195 and we're going to stick it in a cooler and I am gonna go back to bed because I have been up all night all right everyone it's done temperature is at 195 as I said in the very beginning of this video this is the longest cook that I have ever done. So I started this at 9.20, right about there, last night, and it is 12.23 right now. So with that being said, I'm starting it at nine, ending it at 12, 12.20 whereabouts, um, my 13 pound brisket, which normally takes about an hour a pound, ended up taking 15 hours. So, and it's not even done yet. This is, we're gonna have to put, we're gonna have to rest this for a couple of hours. The thing that I use that helps the most and it makes your brisket nice and juicy is a cooler. First things first, I'm going to line our cooler with a towel, just like a dish towel, because it's just gonna insulate it even a, li a little bit more. And then close our lid. All right, so our brisket is good to go. Oh my word, guys. You see that delicious, gorgeous piece of meat? It's 
Got some good give. All right. All right, so for our, our flat, we are gonna cut it this way. And then for our point, we cut it this way. You're gonna be making brisket. The flat is usually the part that's not as tender. I mean, sorry, that doesn't have as much fat. And then the point has more fat. So I'm going to try some of that point. Yeah, super tender, super juicy. You just push down on it and you get like all that juice. So good. So let's just cut strips. Here is a test. A good way to check to make your brisket is good is if you stick it on your knife and it just hangs down like that. And then also, it has some give. It's not like falling apart, but you can just pull it off. So let's try this brisket. Oh my word, guys. That is so good. Mm -hmm. So good. I can't even tell you. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. It was my longest cook and I'm exhausted. I only had like three hours of sleep last night, but it was totally worth it. I'm a total foodie and this brisket is top notch. Thank you for watching. Definitely try this recipe. And if you are not as ambitious as I am and you don't want to spend forever making a brisket, um, then go over to my channel. I have this video here, my tri-tip. You can also make my pulled pork video. It's smoking meat, but it's not as difficult and not as long as a process. Um, and I look forward to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much.